For this one, we want to use the substitution method to solve a system of linear equations. 2x plus 4y equals 6, and 5x plus 10y equals 16. Let's do it. Usually when we want to use the substitution method, we look for a lone variable of some kind. But here we notice that there is no lone variable. All the variables have coefficients in front of them. So maybe we can divide both sides by something here to get a lone variable by itself. And I'm looking right here at this 2x. Right? If we divide both sides by 2, so I'm dividing every single term by 2, that gives us a new equation. x plus 2y equals 3. And down, we'll just leave the second equation alone down here. 5x plus 10y equals 16. And now we have a variable that we can substitute with. Right? We have that lone variable, which is necessary for the substitution method. All right, so let's go ahead and solve for x up here to really get the variable by itself. I'm subtracting 2y from both sides here. That gives us x equals 3 minus 2y. And this gets plugged into right down here. And I'm going to be careful to put parentheses around it. That gives us 5 times 3 minus 2y, right? Because I substituted in for this x, plus 10y equals 16. And now we have a, an equation we can solve just for y. So let's do that. Let's distribute the 5 through. That gives 15 minus 10y plus 10y equals 16. Interesting. The negative 10y and plus 10y cancel out and we get 15 equals 16, which is blatantly false. All right, there is no universe in which that is true. Maybe there is, and I just don't know about it, but certainly in our universe, this is false. Um, so what does that mean? We didn't do anything wrong, everything is right. This when this happens, when you get some contradiction like this as the last line of your solution, that means that there is no solution. So that's the answer here. No solution. Okay, no solution. Or you can simply draw the empty set. This is the set of solutions, right? Here is the set of all solutions, and it is empty, meaning there is there are no solutions. Um, and this, this works anytime, right? We could have done this differently and gotten answers like 1 equals 0 or something like that. 5 equals 10, right? There's a bunch of ways these can go, but when you get and arrive down at some answer that is blatantly false and no variables are involved, the answer is always no solution. What does that mean graphically? Now, these remember, these equations give lines, and indeed, the solution is where these lines cross, so it must be that these lines are parallel, right? Parallel. And we could solve this for y. I won't do it, but we could solve each of these equations for y and find the slope. And we would find that they would have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. OK, so indeed, they are two lines that are parallel, no solution.